Hello there. Let's look at the third principle of testing now. Principle 3 states that early testing saves time and money. This is a very important principle. Early testing saves time and money. Let's break that down. The first point is that static and dynamic test activities should be started as early as possible. What does that mean? It means that we should start testing as early as possible, whether it is a static test or a dynamic test. Let's look at this diagram again. When we are at the user requirement or system requirement stage, there is no code to test. So we can't run the software, but we can start with static testing. And that's what we should do. We should start right from here, the first point, by doing a review on the user requirement. Now, let's look at the second point. Early testing is sometimes referred to as shift left. Why is that? Look here, as I'm talking about early testing, I'm shifting to the left of the diagram. The very first stage of testing is at the leftmost corner of the software development lifecycle. So, Early testing is sometimes called shift left. And finally, we come to the last point. It helps to reduce or eliminate costly changes. How does it do that? We can see it in the example. So here is a very popular graph about the cost and time of finding defects. As you can see in the requirement stage, the cost of locating a defect is the lowest. When you move to the design stage, it becomes a little costlier. Then as you move to the build stage and then to the test stage, it gets more and more expensive. Finally, at live use, it is the costliest to discover a defect in the product. So why does this happen? Why does the expense become greater the further along we are on the life cycle? For this, we need our life cycle diagram. Suppose we find a defect in the implementation stage, which is the build stage. Just because it was found at this stage doesn't mean that the error happened here. It might be in the design or system requirement. It can also be that someone misunderstood the user's requirements because of which every subsequent stage was wrong and we implemented it incorrectly. So now to correct this one defect, we have to go back and correct this document, this document, this document and this one too. All of this will take a lot of time, labor and resources, which means that it will cost a lot of money. This is why principle 3 says, perform testing as early as possible. If we find an error here, then we can correct it here and every other stage will be fine. So that is all we have to say about principle 3. I'll see you in the next video. Happy testing.